Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. I thought I'd spend some time trying to answer some of the questions that people ask me a little bit better, see if I can help some more people. So we'll go with the first one, which is probably the most important question. I want to know how to let all my pages at Redbubble be indexed on Google. This is a very complicated question um, and it requires quite an in-depth answer. But if you just want a TLDR, you can try and build backlinks to your products. So, for example, you can write a Medium article and you can put a couple of your product links, a couple of your product pictures. Make it relevant. Let's say you make a design. Let's have a look at my designs. Um, you could write a design about sloths. You could write an article about sloths and then just drop this a couple of times. You could write an article about goats. You could drop this. I don't know. You could, uh, yeah, write an article about fishing and drop this. Um, just be creative with it as well. Um, and I have heard that Medium is also cracking down and adding no index tags to people's articles. So something is definitely happening generally on the internet. It's not just Redbubble that is affected. Another thing you can do is you can write your answers that are relevant to your designs and just drop the uh, link or a picture again. Uh, it, you'll have to be really, really careful though with Kiora. It's kind of difficult to get accepted. So if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of um, getting indexed, then if you just go on Google and type site redbubble.com and then in URL, buy and then your uh, Redbubble tag, so Stream Surfer is my Redbubble tag. The reason I know this is if you click on any of your designs and press view, if you look in the URL here you can see Stream Surfer is here. So we can use the fact that each of my designs has a unique URL with my name in to see which designs are indexed on Google. The second thing I just want to quickly talk about is I have this theory that when you use search operators, the first result shown is the most clicked or the most popular result. So definitely bear that in mind when you're using the, uh, the search operator method to find keywords for um, Redbubble or any website. The first one, maybe the first one on each page is really, really good. I know that because I know that this brings in a lot of organic traffic. So the reason that I know this, there's two reasons I know this. Number one is I have access to Ahrefs, which is a very, very powerful SEO tool. And the second reason is if I type in apron here, you'll see that this is a very, very popular design, 49. I'm surprised it's never sold. I think the design is bad. I've talked about this before. I really should change it. It looks awful. I don't know. I asked my friend to design this. I don't know why they did that. Why did Oddly do that? He betrayed me. This design could have sold so many times, but it's just, it's so bad. It's, it's such a bad design. Why did he do that? All of his other ones were so good, and then he just, just does that. Oh, such a shame. I swear this would have sold. Okay, so yeah, that's the first, first question, how to get indexed on Google. Just try and post your design in some different places, okay? That's a TLDR. Pinterest pins, yes, 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 that will also work. Yeah, that's a really good point, guys. Pinterest pins, I did that with all of my designs in the past. Okay, let's move on to the second question. We kind of return to that uh, in a moment, don't worry. So am I missing something? Very interesting for sure. Finding those keywords, this is the search operator method, with very few designs on Redbubble is great. But surely if no one is actually searching for these, then what is the point? You are doing the keyword research, but without validating the volume. Or have I missed that part? Uh, I would say, yes, you have missed that part. Um, I have mentioned this many, many times, but obviously not everyone has seen all of my videos. So I try and mention this as much as possible. If you just Google Ahrefs keyword generator, click on it. This is a free tool to see um, approximate uh, searches every month. So you can see that 1.1 million people search for HelloFresh every month according to this tool. Really, really helpful. This help If you don't have uh, the paid version of an SEO tool, this is a really, really good alternative for checking keyword volumes for anything, for Amazon, for 
eBay for any keyword on the internet. It works, but it doesn't quite work as well as the paid version, obviously. But I do want to talk about my response where I say I don't validate volume because I don't really care about sales. It's more that like I trust Google to show me good keywords when I use search operators. I, I should have written that instead of what I, what I wrote here because I do care about sales. It's just, it's not, Redbubble's not like my main income. So I'm not like focusing purely on sales on Redbubble. Okay, this is a really, really good question as well, actually. So what do you mean by indexing the products? Is this means that products didn't don't appear when we search for them on Redbubble? No, there are two types of Redbubble SEO. There's there's Google, so like funny sticker. You can almost guarantee that Redbubble is on the front page. There it is. It's number one. Whoever is here is probably making loads of sales. I wonder who's here. Yeah, <laughs> classic. Okay, so this that that process there was the process that is affected by not being indexed on Google. Okay, but if I type in funny oops, funny stickers here, this is not affected by what we just saw. Okay, and as you can see, it's the same. So it's kind of complicated, but and they are related as well. So just keep that in mind. They are related. Okay, so I wanted to focus on this question. Sophian Ship says, Google has not indexed my store. And I asked them how old the store was, you know, just the normal questions. And I talked about, you know, posting to Facebook, your Medium, Pinterest, Instagram, everything. And they say, I joined in May of 2017 and have 613 designs with only three sales. And when I was thinking about this, I suddenly had an idea that it, it might, this is a, this is complete theory i have no idea if this is true okay but i have a theory that it's based on followers because google really likes my redbubble stores and i have a lot of followers because people follow me from my youtube videos so check how many followers you have if you have under 10 and you're not indexed try and get 10 get your friends to follow you etc your your family um, if you have under 50, you can write in the comments as well. If you don't mind sharing your store, we'll all follow everyone, I guess. I don't really know. Um, and if that doesn't work, maybe it's 50. I have no idea. This is just, like I said, this is pure theory. Um, I just thought what was different about my stores than other people's stores. And I, I've been getting loads of follows on Redbubble recently. And Google really, really likes my store. So I thought it might be connected. Maybe... Redbubble removes the no index when you get to 10 or 50 followers and another reason I thought of this actually is um, if you don't know uh, it's the same with reddit um, you need 10 upvotes to get a follow link if you post a link on reddit it only becomes a follow link which means it gives SEO power if you get 10 upvotes so that kind of logic is where the logic for this came from please comment down below if you have more than 50 or uh, followers and you are not indexed on google so that we can trash that theory but yeah like i said it's just a theory wow you got too many results indexed in the search operator search method you get indexed on google very soon can you help tell me how to do it this is a really common question as you can see i just suggest that you post your things everywhere and try and get indexed Okay, yeah, this is a really interesting question as well. Uh, I was wondering if you knew something I didn't when you said tags were not important. I said tags weren't important, then I said uh, they were important. I'm still not sure, to be honest. Um, but yeah, interesting as always, my man. I have some deleted designs that are appearing on the URL search. How long before they get deleted? So Google keeps old content until they recrawl the website. So it takes um, it takes some time. And we can't, this should say 301, this should not say 404. Uh, we can't redirect our uh, Redbubble designs or delete them uh, from index. It just has to happen. It's just a process. But this is another reason if you upload a new design and you go through Google to find your design. Like, let's say you have... Um, so, wait, let me, let me just go to my store. Uh, let's see if I can find one of mine. Let's just copy that. Red bubble shirt. Type in shirt. 
Okay, let's say I've got a My Honeybees t-shirt with that keyword, and you might think, you, you can search through these. If you've only uploaded it in the last 48 hours, you can search through all of these, and you won't find it, because this version of this web page is different to the one that you get if you search here. Because this is an, this is an old... If you've just uploaded it, then this is old, and they haven't recrawled Redbubble's pages yet. I wonder if my design appears here. Oh, this is T Public. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really, really interesting one as well. Thanks for your content. Google will index every keyword, even if they are searched or not. Yeah, that's very true. So how to know designs on page one for X keyword quote sell or not? Thanks. So basically, how can we rank? Um, and I just said I use the keyword in the title always, which normally gives a decent ranking. So the title is where I focus, which is why I say tags aren't particularly important because the thing that's more important for me is the title tag. Google still works very much the same way than, that it did like many, many years ago. Um, it uses HTML tags to, that boosts your ranking. So an H1 tag, the title tag, is the strongest thing that we have to work with on the Redbubble system. So like this here. If you inspect this, it will say H1, which means uh, heading one. So this is an uh, this is the only one that I really care about because it's the strongest in terms of SEO. So I always put my keyword here. The really interesting thing about this design actually is if I Google this, I know it's a very long tail keyword, but a lot of people actually a lot of people actually search for this, which is pretty cool. This should be yeah, it is still my design, still number one, still no one bought it needs to change the design. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people getting indexed and maybe understanding Redbubble SEO a little bit more. Peace out.